I will drop. Mm, yeah, because I want to let them get there because we're ready with Comet's ult. So I don't want them. I, if I put her one to the side, it would have taken a little longer for them to get there. I just want Comet to start blowing stuff up. He is really good. He is really, really good. Yep. <laughs> Easy peasy, baby. Fastidious. Fastidious. How the heck are you, everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome to my channel and welcome to day 53 in our grind for glory. Hashtag G4G, everybody. We're grinding as hard as we can every single day in this series. We're going to talk more about the arena. Uh, thanks to some things we got in game when I woke up this morning, as well as some great tips we got from Ronaldo, we made insane overnight progress in the AoE DPS arena. I'm really excited to show you guys. But first, two quick things. Speaking of Ronaldo, I want to plug again the video we put out last night. It's an epic fighters only tier list. It is very thorough. We're both very proud of it. And it's the first of five videos in this class by class series in which we make an epic tier list specific to just fighters. Then it's going to be just marksmen, so on, so on, so on. I'm going to have a new collaborator for each video, some really amazing collaborators that you guys know and love. Uh, so look forward to it and check out the video uh, with me and Ronaldo in the description. And also I'll probably put in the top comment. Also, we need to talk about something I promised last night on stream, our Epic Drop Rates project. I said I would give a little taste. We're not gonna fully disclose the results yet, but I said I would give you an update. So an update you shall get. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar, me and Seamus the Hug Monster, we are leading a project to prove that the rates in this game are rigged. What do we mean by rigged? Well, if we go over here and we go to the details in a normal summoning, it says there's a 7.88% chance that you will get any of these non-Lord Epics. This is, we think it's probably rigged for a lot of things, but we're just focusing on epics. Uh, and you will see, uh, if you do, there's 45 epics, right? So if you divide this number by 45, it should be about a 0 0.175, so 0.175, right? Percent chance that you will get each one of these, assuming an equal distribution. However, it really doesn't feel like that, and we have set out to prove it wrong. So if you're interested in joining the project, we are very, 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 very actively sub, uh, accepting more submissions. I have a detailed video that will also be in the description and the pinned comment explaining how to do this. Um, but basically just fill out the form. It's very straightforward. Seamus and I did a very, I think, straightforward job of explaining everything you need to do, but we just need to, yeah, aggregate as much summons data as possible. So how much have we done so far? Well, I'm not going to show you the sheet, but I'll read the stuff from it. You guys have been awesome. We've gotten 228 responses. That's pretty huge, guys. That is a lot of responses. But it's not about responses. It's about how many, how many summons have been accounted for. Well, you guys took some guesses last night on stream, and no one was even close. Let me get it for you guys right now. We are at 275,664 summons. That is a lot of summons. Don't get me wrong, but it's not enough. We're deep into the triple digits now, but we really need more. I'd say we need at least, at least three or 400,000 to do something that's properly, like do a study that's properly significant, statistically significant, uh, but we're getting there. We're really getting there. So share the form with your friends, share it with your guild mates. If you need extra help, you can share the video, but it's really about getting people to fill out this form. One last thing about the form, and then we'll get to our normally scheduled programming. Um, it's very, very, very important that you fill it out correctly. And if you don't, we will allow resubmissions. But make it clear, use the exact same name and check off the resubmit button so as not to confuse Seamus and I. Uh, because unfortunately, of those 200, uh, what did I say? Two, now, oh, someone just filled one out, literally just now. 34 seconds ago. So shout out to Discord user, whatever this number is. Uh, so now we have 229 submissions, but actually 22 of those have faulty data. So that means they checked a box, for example, like I pulled more than 10 of that champion, but then they never specified how much. That's an example of faulty data. So this way, if you want to resubmit, then you know we can get more and more clean data that will actually work for the study. All right, guys, I'll give you one last little taste. I will, because I'm a good guy. Um, I'm going to tell you, like a first guys these are not this is not conclusive data but i'm gonna give you a little taste because i gave it on stream last night so we I, I told the people in the chat shout out a champion you think is common shout out a champion you think is rare and then i'll tell you what the likelihood is what the likelihood is you're gonna get that champion based on what we have found someone just subscribed sorry about that guys um so what did i find what did i find so they shouted out brunor and they shouted out estrid so of these 275,000 summons we have tracked, 275,000 plus, 
uh, we have found that if you pull any non-Lord Epic, so if you're, if you're saying you're gonna pull a non-Lord Epic, so there's a 100% chance you do that, what's the percent chance that that ep Epic is Brunor versus that Epic is Estrid? Well, let me find Brunor oh so quickly. So you have a 2.96% chance that it's Bruno. So nearly a 3% chance that that Epic you will get is Brunor. The chance that that Epic is going to be Estrid is 0.25%, so less than 10 times, right? So Brunor is more than 10 times more likely to be pulled uh, than Estrid. And we think that is crazy. And we, uh, there's a first little taste. This stuff is not conclusive yet. We need, we need more data. More data is gonna make this a lot more powerful. However, uh, it's certainly, we're certainly seeing a pattern. How about I put it that way? We are certainly seeing a pattern. It seems like Brunor is about 11 times more likely to be pulled than Estrid from these 275,000 summons. And that's a big number, but it's not big enough. So please share the form. If you haven't filled out the form yet, please fill it out right now. We need this number higher, higher, higher. We're gonna prove them wrong and we're gonna force them to be more transparent. Like I said before, we don't mind if the rates aren't, aren't even, right? We just need to know that they aren't even so we can have realistic expectations. So it's not just straight up gambling because it's kind of illegal. Anyway. Let's move on into our regularly regularly scheduled programming. Boy, that went on longer than I thought, but I think it's important information you guys need to know. So what happened today? Well, if we go to the events, we have this lovely little seven-day sign-in, and I got a legendary crystal. Legendary crystals are really good. A uh, legendary skill crystal, I shall say. Uh, skilling up your champions is insanely, insanely important, and getting legendary skill up crystals is really hard. Um, then I woke up and I went to the guild boss, you can see I already claimed it, but then for my Nightmare uh, 3 chest, which funny enough, I didn't get the fourth chest. Because uh, I, I realized after I'd already done my run that I forgot to put gear on my Dimos, who's my top damage dealer. So we actually ended up with like 6,200 blood. So I ended up with the third chest. They're quite similar. However, after like a week of getting the fourth chest every day with no issue, but never getting anything good, always settling for 20,000 gold or 30 energy or, you know, 7,000 XP, when I actually got the lower chest, I got the higher legendary skill crystal. So that was kind of corny, but I'll take it. We needed it. So now we were able to put those two legendary skill crystals. I already did it, but we put those two into Comet. So I wanted to test this out to see the difference it made. And you see, we're just one skill up away now from maxing out our Comet. Uh, finally, they're going to the ult because the ult is the only thing left. Uh, we need the reduction in skill cost. However, he's at fully potent in terms of damage now because uh, we got the 80 plus 80% 80 on the ult. So it's up to 400% AOE. It's a big difference from the 320% we were at just one or two days ago. And then the extra five seconds is huge. It goes from 15 seconds to 20 seconds, right? So it increases by 33%. Um, on top of that, we got a really nice tip from Ronaldo Plays. He said, Comet's your best champion, Comet's my best champion, just plus, because uh, he has Comet as well, just place Comet first. Uh, Comet has an amazing ability, which I, of course I know, but I just, when I was doing the, the live trial of this new team with Morgan as a lead taking out my nightmare units, I hadn't really thought, okay, should we change the order of placements? I was like, no, the way I always do is I do Abomination first, then I do a DPS, then I do a... Dolores, so on and so on, but he's like, no, place Comet first. If you guys are unfamiliar with Comet, um, we have this move right here. Where is it? Oh my God. I couldn't find it because it's in the talent. Uh, Obliteration Strike deals 400% extra high damage to enemies who have not been attacked. This is super, super deadly. Uh, and it's important that he's the first person out because then he can basically just wipe those that first wave by himself because of this talent. You don't have to use his ult. Then you can use his ult on the second wave. And then by the time you got Morrigan out and Dolores out, you can trigger Dolores with Morrigan on the third wave if it even makes it that long. It's amazing. So let's hop into the battle and show it off. I think I officially kind of have Maybe not, probably not like the best possible team, but a definitely an, a, an overpowered team for this battle. So it's pretty cool. You can see we just beat this team right here. They, they don't have nearly the BP we do. That's eh, pretty close actually, but they have some of the best units, right? Iona and then Comet and Virna. They've got Aeon, so not Morgan, but they still have a really nice cultist lead, but we were able to beat them. Um, so let's show a team I think we'll beat pretty handily because uh, Salazar's not really cut out for this fight. And then we can try to find a really hard team. Um, and let me know, guys, if you're enjoying the arena content in the comments, because I really enjoy making it. I think PV PvP stuff is really fun. So we wait, we wait, we wait. We got to be patient. We got to wait. Okay, now we're ready. There we are. I also, someone gave a tip in the comments. If I can find it, I'll let you guys know. If we place Dolores here, um, we can actually buff everyone together. Uh, so that's pretty nice. So you see, we didn't have to use the ultimate or anything. And we actually, even against their, who are they using here? Iona? Even against their Iona, they took some pretty significant damage because he's getting first hits on everyone. That's really crazy damage. So we let Dolores load up. 
We're gonna drop more again. I'm not gonna use Dolores yet. I think we should be pretty a-okay. I'll drop Comet now, just to make sure we really destroy them on this wave. So not, not a crazy blowout here, but they're still gonna take five dots of damage. Maybe I should try, maybe I'll try the next time. Maybe we do Dolores first and we save Comet for the last one. That might be better to really wipe them out on the third one. But sometimes you can win in two, which is pretty fun. And then my own little thing I brought in here, dropping Mari here just for a little extra slow and a little extra freeze if it makes it that far uh, to get the CC to boost Morgan, really nice. Um, and we should take care of this pretty easily. You can really see we're taking a big lead here. And yeah, we didn't even have time to kill this last wave before the little rat wolves, I don't know what they're actually called, but those rat wolves ate away the portal. And you can see, pretty nice. And uh, that team was actually stronger than us, even though uh, I don't think they had the best setup. And you can see T Comet really runs away with this thing. To be fair, he was out on the, on the field, out on the battlefield a lot longer than Morgan, but he did pretty good. He did pretty good. Uh, this guy, this team stinks. I don't know what he's thinking with Salazar. <laughs> I really don't know what he's thinking. Guys, make sure you change it from, uh, maybe maybe this was his other team or something, I don't know. Or maybe just Salazar is, is so far and away his best champion, he feels like he has to use him. Uh, let's just keep plugging away. This could be a pretty hard team. I find Valkyra really, really, really hard with this AoE uh, magic damage here on the A1 with the vulnerability. Uh, she's got the big range, especially if you got her A1. Do they have her A1? Let's see. No, they don't, but she's really good. Uh, they're bringing Arrogance, who obviously we're used to, this is the first time I've ever had a team without Arrogance now. I took him out for Mari. And they also have Comet. They're stronger than us. Let's see if we can beat these Russians. Come on, guys, let's try. Let's try this out. And let's see. The Cold War once again. Inside a mobile video game. <laughs> all right, let's get ready. We gotta be real patient, because Comet's all the way up at 19 costs. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, we drop. Seems like he's probably doing the same thing. He is. So let's see who's Comet stronger. Oh, it's going to be close. Mine's stronger. Okay, great. That's what we like to see. So we still won by three dots. So pretty nice. Definitely, if you're going to do this strategy, put your best gear on Comet. I put my best gear on him right now. He really shines. So let's wait. Comet is an amazing champion. He's an amazing, amazing champion. Let's go. Let's trigger Dolores right away. We're going to save Comet for the next round now if we go that far. We will. But you can see that now we got a nice lead. Another five dots against his Comet and his Valkyra. Valkyra has really given me fits in the past, so it would be really nice to beat her here against a really strong team. Can we beat the Russians? Come on. All right, let's place our girl. Let me trigger Comet. So she does, there is like a trade-off because she slows these guys down so they don't get there as soon. However, by the time they do get there, Everyone's ready to just focus their aggro on them. And there you can see we beat them by what? That's like eight or nine uh, dots or something. So unfortunately, they have 1.9 left. Here's a final tip also provided by Ronaldo. If we put uh, Abomination here facing down, unfortunately, he's not in view of Dolores. So it is a trade off. However, now uh, the, the little guys, the Rat Wolves can't go to that square. So Morgan actually gets full coverage. So TBD, if this is better or worse, I don't know. But it's definitely a nice thought. So I've been trying it out. And before we even get the freeze off, the fight is over. This team is good, guys. Let me know if you guys think you have a team that would absolutely destroy mine. You guys seem to let me know, uh, regardless in the comments, if, if your team would, would slap mine around. But uh, there you go, Comet going to town here. Craziness. So I think saving that third ult, that, that, that saving the ult for the third round seems like a very strong move. All right, I think we have one more arena pass, so we might as well use it here in the video and see. Oh, we got two more, okay. We got con this team I think we would beat pretty easy. This could be a really hard team. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a team we can definitely lose to. So let's try this. This is a scary, 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 scary team. So why am I saying that? They're gonna do it for a cheesy strat. They're gonna bring the rage mage. Uh, so they're gonna put Laurel in and immediately take her out to boost their ults. Uh, they got Venoma to make Comet's cost way less uh, and start him with full rage. We're gonna we're gonna lose. But I guess I can just show you we're gonna lose this fight. Uh, I'm gonna show you the the full potential. And of course they have Hatsit, probably the best character in the game. And Iona's quite good too. Uh, but they're probably not even gonna place Iona. They'll win before then. Uh, so let's just try it. I don't mind taking an L for the content. Um, this is gonna be a really nasty team. Really really nasty. Straight out of the UK. Straight out of the UK, they're gonna slap us around. I, I'll tell you already, I'm gonna be shocked. They're gonna have to have some pretty bad gear on their Comet for, to not beat us right now, because he's gonna be dropped with instant full rage. Okay. We did get a lead, so they're saving the ult. 
So we might somehow steal this first round. We did. Okay, so they're gonna take two dots. If we can pull this one off, I, I don't even know. If you guys are unfamiliar, Venoma's Lord skill, it's amazing. She's got two. If you have Esotericist, so she does minus 25% cost to all skills for all members of her faction. But then for everyone who's not in her faction, upon deployment, they start with an extra, I don't know what it is, 30% rage, I believe. I think it's 30%. That is crazy potent. Crazy. Um, so it's going to be really hard for us to stack up against that. We're going to have to just trigger everything right away and hope for the best. Let's see. Again, it doesn't look like they're triggering their Comet. I don't know what they're doing. I think we might beat them. Uh, so we beat him, but it's at five dots again. Ooh, no, those two guys were alive on top, like seven dots. We might beat these. We got the Revolutionary War. We got the War of 1812 all over again, guys. All right, we'll drop. Mm, yeah, because I want to let them get there because we're ready with Comet's ult. So I don't want them. I, if I put her one to the side, it would have taken a little longer for them to get there. I just want Comet to start blowing stuff up. He is really good. He is really, really good. Yep, <laughs> easy peasy, baby. All right, so you can see, shout out to Ronaldo Plays for his suggestions. Shout out to the game for giving me those legendary skill crystals. Shout out to me for a couple of things I think I thought of. Um, and shout out to RNG Jesus for letting us pull these amazing champions. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please let me know if you're enjoying the arena content. I really enjoy making it. Um, and also, do not sleep on the study. Don't think, oh, we have so many summons uh, accounted for already. I don't need to submit my form. You need to submit your form. If we actually want it, like, we're getting to the point where maybe we can, I have contacts with the devs, right? Maybe we could make them make a change. The way of doing that is saying, hey, here is 500,000 summons worth of data. That's half a million summons. Are you really going to tell me the rates aren't rigged? That'd be amazing. And then we can just, they, they won't change the rates, but they will make it transparent. And it will say in game, all right, you have a 0.02% chance of this champion and then a 0.12% chance of this champion. I think that'd be really great. I would really enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I've been fastidious. Like the video if you want to like it. Please leave a comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Fastidious.